Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how many delicious dishes you can make with live Tespa. And the best part is, they cannot hurt you! Anyway, so moving on... With the Eagle Moss Star Trek The Next Generation Enterprise D Kit, we are beginning issue 13, and as always, this will cover four separate assemblies in the build. So let's take a quick look here through the magazine. Obviously, we have our parts list, we have instrucciones, but let's take a look at some of the cool behind the scenes stuff here we have the vengeance factor oh he 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 needs skin treatments there we have oh look lisa wilcox from nightmare on elm street but uh yeah this was a good episode the defector love that what's going on there oh, <laughs> but there's always some nice concept art i'm always a fan of the concept arts there we go some costume concepts oh the Hunted, another good episode. I just say that every time I look through these magazines. That was a good episode. That was a good episode, too. Oh, that one, The High Ground, good episode. <laughs> but yeah, overall, some good episodage here. Deja Q, good episode. Oh, that's just... <laughs> Q is just fun. Q is just fun. There you go. That's some, uh, looks like some storyboards going on here and of course yes exactly the facepalm that launched a thousand memes you're not joking you are not joking they even made a statue of it so yes <laughs> two statues really but yeah uh a matter of perspective again another good episode and that is it so there you have the magazine here we have our parts so let's get down to it, or oh, let's engage, because there's always ain't nothing to it but to engage it. So let's make it so. Oh, let's make it so. Alrighty. Slice this open. We have some clear parts. We got screws. And we got some more clear parts. More screws. So, we got lights, be careful with the wires, and the sharp knife. More windows, because of course more windows. And another hull panel here. And is that it? That is it. Get out of my life. Alrighty, then. So now let us open up. Our instrucciones! Ay, que instrucciones! Ay! Okay, so we are here! We are here! Stage 47, and in this stage we're going to fit a different kind of reflector to your warp nacelle build and connect a further bank of lights to your upper saucer assembly. Cool! Cool! Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do it looks like is we're going to take these two clear pieces and one will just sit inside the other like that and okay so once we have done that we secure the parts using a clear sticker which i'm assuming is this yes that is a clear sticker so let's peel that up peel peel and uh, we just wrap this on the side here, like that, bring that around, and there we go. That's what they want us to do, and that is what we have done. Is this actually two stickers, or is this one sticker? I see a perforation there. This is supposed to be, oh, it's just two stickers. Oh, wait, maybe it's just, <gasps> this is two stickers. Maybe I don't uh, you know what? Maybe we just need. I thought this was just one sticker. Nope. You know what? We're gonna put this back. <laughs> you stay there, because I think we only need one of you. Okay. I think we only need one of you. So let me do this. Let me do this right now. Okay. There we go. 
Okay, that looks more like the picture. There we go. Okay. So you know what? I'm going to hold on to this. Put that off to the side. Keep that. May need that later. Okay. Alrighty. So we got that done. That's what that looks like. That's a thing. That's a thing we did. Okay, so now we're bringing in our nacelle. And it looks like this is just going to tuck in right in here. Like that. And that just sitting in there, like so. With the other reflector. And, uh... That seems like that's all we're doing there, right? 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 Yep, that's it. So that's all we're doing with this. So we can put that off to the side. We don't need zats no more. And now we can begin with our next section of the hull. So, put that out. You can get out of my life. And what do we have to do? We have to do more windows because, of course, more windows so as always i'm going to just uh nip these off real quick off camera okay we got the windows cut out and now we will start installing the windows so what do we have here we have two blocks followed by a clear Ooh, then a clear and then three blocks how are everybody doing? How is everybody feeling? As always, hope everyone's doing well. Everybody's staying safe. What am I doing? More windows. <laughs> more windows. So I could put some more skin on the prize. There we go. And then three more blocks. I said boop, I said boop, I said boop, thank you. And then one more clear, and the last black. And there we go, we got that all done. So now it's time to bring in the saucer and get this connected. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so here we have the saucer and this panel is going to go in this area right here. So this is just going right underneath like that. So I'm going to start securing this with, um, I'm just gonna put one screw just to hold this in place because otherwise it's just gonna flop around on me. And we don't want that, nobody wants that. Make sure wires are not getting pinched around or anything. Okay. All right, so. I'm gonna use a BM screw, six BM screws in total, but I'm just using one right now. And this is just to hold in place. And I dipped it in some oil because it is going into metal. So I'm just gonna do, yeah, I'll just do it right there. Again, this is just to keep it in place, just so I can let it go and I can do whatever else I need to do here. So now we need to put in the lights because there are oh, more lights. Oh, there's always more lights. So we are doing what? We're doing yellow and black into this side and the red and blue into this side. So that's just getting tucked in here. Like that. And we'll pray to the gods that we have this in its proper orientation here. There we go. That's the thing about this though, is you're kind of doing this blind. But, okay. I think that's in place the way it should be. Cool. All right, so we got that, and now we can do the rest of it. Again, I have my oil right here for some dippity dipping. So, we're going to finish installing these screws right here. As always, we'll just get the party started. And we're doing six in total. And then this is going to get attached to the circuit board. And then we will be done with this stage. 
Well, actually, we still have some other screws to do as well. Then we attach to the circuit board, and then we are done with the stage. Okay. So go. Last one. Boop. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. There you go. And now, we're gonna. Alrighty. So now we can snug all of this up. Get it all nice and unsnuggened. Nice and unsnuggened. Okay. Boom. Well, this is turning out beautiful. Beautiful. Well, not this side. This side is ugly, but the, the other side, the hero side, the side you're going to see when it's on display, looks beautiful. Gorgeous. Marvelous. Ah, yes. It will be a sight to behold. Make sure that's not getting pinched. And it is not. Okay. Alrighty. We are doing well. We are doing well. I am most pleased. Most pleased. Okay, that's okay. It's out of the way. Nothing's getting pinched. Snug. Everything's going to snug. Snug. And just make sure everything is a nice final and snuggening. Cool. Cool. And cool. Alrighty. So next up, we need to use one, two, three, four of my own personal brand of screws. That's right, the best screwing you'll ever get, the only screwing you'll ever need. M screws, because without M screws, you are screwed. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we need uh, four of these. Four M screws. Uno dos, tres and cuatro. You get over here, you get over here. Him screws is running wild. That's what they do. That's how they live. All right. So these are going along this section here. So again, give it a little dippity dip since it's going in the metal. And that will secure this right here. We'll give it a final end snuggling in a little bit. Dip. Excuse me. Excuse me, wire. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's number... Oh, do we need... No. One, two... Oh, I missed one. I was like... I thought it said four. No. It did say four. I just skipped over one. There we go. That one. And... Uno mas. Uno mas. Dippity dip. And screwity screw. There we go. Now we can snug all this up. Beautiful. And beautiful. Boop. And what is it? What is it? Say it with me. It's beautiful. And one more time. What is it? What is it? You know what it is. I know what it is. We all know what it is. It's oh. Beautiful. Okay. And there we go. We got that. We can put this off to the side. And now we can connect this light to the circuit. How'd you get under there? How did you manage that? Seriously. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> this is going where? This is going right here. On this end. So that will just get popped right in. Is this correct orientation? No, it's not. This way. This way. And that will just pop in right there, like so. And there we go. And we can do some kind of tidying to this. I guess we can just run that right through there, like that. There we go. And it's connected to the board. And it is all good. As always, I want you to test out the lights. I'm testing them out on my own time. So far, everything is working beautifully, though. 
So that is it. And there we have that lovely panel attached to the saucer. And we have officially put some more skin on the prize. And now I can sit down. Hooray. Hooray for sitting. So yeah, we are done. We are done with this stage of the build again look at that look at that oh it's filling up it's filling up nicely this panel before anybody says anything i'm not worried about this because i'm sure once you put in those bottom panels that's going to pull that down and make everything sit nice and flush so i'm not worried about that but that's looking gorgeous look at that that's looking gorgeous right there love it love it so we did that we did a little bit more work to our nacelle and that is it for this stage of the build so there you go and as always if you would like to sign up for your own enterprise d kit there'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out and if you missed any stage of this build there is a playlist in the description down below for you to check out as well and you can watch this lovely starship take shape before your very eyes so there you go as always i hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of mgo builds stuff and remember you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, live long and prosper, and palm in your face.